In this video, let me consider one numerical on Norton's theorem. Use Norton's theorem, find current through 5 ohm register. This is the given circuit. Here we have 5 ohm register. We are supposed to find I that is current through 5 ohm register using Norton's theorem. In this circuit, we can observe that here we have one independent voltage source of 30 volt and there is a dependent voltage source. It is current dependent voltage source of magnitude 6 Ix. That is, it is dependent on the current Ix where current Ix is flows through 6 ohm register. So, to find current through 5 ohm register using Norton's theorem, three parameters we supposed to calculate because it consists of dependent source. That is, we need to calculate VOC that is open circuit voltage Second parameter is we need to calculate ISC that is short circuit current and third parameter is Norton's resistance Rn. Now let us see what is VOC. VOC is nothing but open circuit voltage. Open circuit voltage is calculated across the terminal A and B keeping A and B open. It means that in Norton's theorem the current in which branch we are finding that branch is supposed to be removed. If I remove this 5 ohm register which is connected to terminal A and B, this terminal will get open. Then we are supposed to calculate voltage between A and B that is nothing but VOC. Now let me draw the let me draw the circuit. To find VOC. So, I will draw the same circuit. This is minus plus. Here we have 6 Ix. And here we have 6 ohm register. And here we have 4 ohm register. There is a voltage source of magnitude 30 volt. So, here we can see that this is A terminal and this is B terminal. I will remove this 5 ohm register. Now the voltage between these two is nothing but VOC. That is voltage between these two. VOC is also known as VTH that is Thevenin's voltage. So here current Ix is flowing in this branch. So we can say that in this loop there is only one loop as this is open. So current Ix is flows through entire this loop. So now I can try to find Ix applying KVL to this loop. I can write that is apply KVL. So I can write 30 is equal to 4 into Ix that is voltage across 4 ohm register is 4 into Ix and here we have dependent source that is minus 6 Ix plus we have 6 Ix. So here Ix and my plus I 6 Ix and minus 6 Ix will get cancelled. We get Ix equal to 30 divided by 4 which gives seven point five. So therefore I can find VOC which is equal to six into Ix. Therefore VOC is equal to six into seven point five. Therefore VOC is equal to forty five volts. So this is open circuit voltage VOC that is 45 volts. So now we found VOC. Now we will try to calculate ISC. ISC is also known as short circuit current. Here in this circuit we can see that at terminal A and B it is open. Because of this open terminal no current flows. If I short terminal A and B then it becomes closed loop then definitely current will flow between A and B. The current flows through that shorted path or between A and B is known as ISC. Now let me draw the circuit that is to find ISC. Now let me draw the same circuit. So here we have plus minus 6 Ix. There is a 6 ohm register here 
there is 30 volt voltage source here plus minus 30 volt and here we have a register of 4 ohm as I said this is terminal A and B now we supposed to short these two terminal if we short this two terminal definitely current will flow through this this current is known as ISC and in the circuit it is given that current through this branch is IX so now here we can observe that there is a shorted path parallel to 6 ohm register and in 6 ohm register it is said that current IX is flowing when A and B terminals are shorted then the current flows into the circuit the same current will flow through this path and no current flows through this this path because this path is shorted so entire current will follow this path no current will flow through 6 ohm register therefore i can say ix value will become zero so when ix will become zero we here we have dependent current dependent voltage source that is 6 ix when ix is zero then this voltage will become zero so voltage will become zero means this will be short circuited that is this circuit acts like short circuit so this dependent source now does not exist it acts like short circuit now let me analyze this circuit so no current flows here so the current will flow through 4 ohm register this isc will flow through only in 4 ohm register therefore i can write 30 is equal to 4 into isc therefore i can write isc is equal to 30 divided by 4 that is 7.5 amps therefore isc is 7.5 amps so now we supposed to calculate the third parameter that is R rn that is norton's resistance so rn will be equal to VOC divided by ISC. So already we have found v VOC which is 45 volts that is 45 divided by ISC is 7.5. So solving this we get 6 ohm. Now let me draw the Norton's equivalent circuit. So we know that Norton's equivalent circuit consists of a Norton's current known as IN or also known as ISC and there is a register connected parallel to current source that register is known as RN now this is A terminal and this is B terminal so here we supposed to find current through 5 ohm register now at the first stage as we have removed this 5 ohm register now we supposed to connect that 5 ohm register here this is 5 ohm here in or isc value is 7.5 7.5 amp and rn value is 6 ohm so therefore now we'll find current i so by applying current division rule apply current division rule i can write i is equal to total current that is 7.5 into opposite register here current i is flowing in 5 ohm register opposite to this there is a register that is 6 ohm total current into opposite register divided by sum of these two registers that is 6 plus 5 therefore solving this we will get 7.5 into 6 divided by 11 it gives 4.09 4.09 amps so therefore current through 5 ohm register is 4.09 amps thank you for watching